Hi, and welcome to the Electronics and Programming Beginner's Guide. Today I wanted to talk about uh, KiCad's uh, hierarchical uh, schematic uh, system, which allows you to use multiple sheets. And I was going to compare that with Eagles, but the problem is that I've never actually done a video about Eagles uh, multiple sheet schematic system, and so this is going to be a combo video where I talk about both uh, Eagle's multiple sheet system and KiCat's multiple sheet system, and this will allow us to compare the two. In Eagle here, I have opened the a blank schematic. And something to note is there's this, uh, I think people refer to it as a combo box or toolbar available here called Sheets. If you don't have this, I can close out of this. You can right-click on a toolbar and add the sheets back in. Uh, this is what allows you to use multiple sheets in Eagle. And this is only available if you're using anything but the light version. The light version limits you to a single sheet. The way multiple sheets work in Eagle is it, <clears throat> the whole thing is flat, meaning that all of the sheets exist on the same plane of existence. And let's give you a general view into it. First of all, we want to... <clears throat> Sorry about this, I have a little bit of a cold. Uh, first we want to add a frame, and this is actually fairly important for uh, this operation, because the frames allow you to use XREF. There we go, we have a frame, and you see the frame appear here in the schematic, and now we can add a new schematic. And you can also change the description. So in the description, uh, let's call this test one. Okay, and you can see test one appears down here. And we can go description and test two. Yeah, I totally did that out of order, but that's okay. And so now we want to go back to, uh, go to our new sheet, which was test one, and we want to go ahead and add a frame to it, just like we did to the other one. And the reason for the frame will make sense here in just a second. <clears throat> so like that, we have frames in both. So now we want to add a component to each one. And what would be a good component to add? Do to do choices, choices, choices. Let's go with analog ICs. This is the SparkFun library, and let's add a mux. Okay, and I'm normally I put it in the middle. I want to put this over here to be very specific with it, and it'll make sense here in just a second. So let's say I have a mux over here, and I want to go back to my first schematic, and I want to add a connector. <clears throat> go back here. Connectors. You know, like an M5. Okay. Something like that. Point one header, and I want to add it over here. Like that. <clears throat> well, now we have these two sheets, and, you know, let's say this sheet is going to be for our analog multiplexer. And we can actually, just for the sake of posterity description, call this the multiplexer. Like that, and description, and we want to make this the connector, like that. Ta-da. Well, now we want to link the two. And uh, what I mentioned previously is that the <clears throat> eagle uh, uh, multiple sheets are flat. So what does that mean? Let's grab a net, and you always want to use nets, not wires. Very deceptive. 
and we want to go ahead and add a net like that and once you bring it out and click it you want to hit stop it it's annoying to use just a little bit particularly when you're doing this kind of operation we want to right click on it and go to name or you can use the name tool out here in the toolbar and let's call this five because it's associated with pin five on the connector okay you know, I want to grab, jump to our multiplexer sheet, and let's bring it over here. Actually, let me let me fix my boo boo, because five is actually kind of a terrible name. Let's call this J one connector five. That is a much better net name. And then we want to grab the net again. And let's say we're going to connect this to IO5. Like that. Name. <coughs> J1. Connector 5. And then when we hit OK, Eagle is going to warn us that we're going to be connecting nets together. With this warning, we're going to connect these nets together, and you want to hit Yes. So what happened now is that this net, which is named J1 Connector 5, is connected to this net over here, J1 Connector 5. But it's very unclear that these nets are connected so we want to do that and we want to do that with xref so if we come over here and hit label up here you want to uh, turn on xref and this is where the uh, sheets here come in incredibly handy so if i have xref selected all i do is i click on the net here and uh, this label appears specifically the xref label and you can uh, rotate it by right clicking that kind of thing in the that little um what would you call it whisker or string or pointer or line tells you which net it's connected to we want to add it like that but what makes this uh, very convenient is this label here this xref label specifically tells you where its mate is located. So if we look over here, 2.7a is actually sheet 2, uh, located in sector 7a of the uh, sheet. So if we jump over here, and we look that we're in sector 7a, and that's where it's located, and we can do the same thing over here, that if we add the label and make sure that xref is on, go ahead and grab the net like that and rotate around and this one is telling us that uh, the mate to this label is on sheet one uh, sector 1c of the frame so let's jump back over here and if we zoom out a little bit we can see we're at 1c is where that net ended up and uh, Again, if you're using anything other than the light version, you can have multiple sheets, and you can create the schematics that way. So let me show you a very quick example. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. This would have been, I think, it was the 2015 Christie main board 7. Yes. We don't want to save that previous project. Anyway, this was a, a large and complicated project, and it was broken up into four sections. So we have our Wi-Fi section here for a Lantronics module. Then we have the connector section, and that's where power comes in, and uh, some other miscellaneous things got jettisoned off to, and you, you have your 3.3 uh, volt to 5 volt conversion. Then we have uh, two different processors. We have the uh, PIC32, 
and all of its appropriate accoutrements. And then we have the lighting section, which this is a AT Mega 328P. And if I tried to cram all the stuff into a single schematic, it would have looked like absolute garbage. And so I broke it up into uh, four sheets, your Wi-Fi sheet, your connector sheet, your router sheet, and your lighting sheet. Now let's jump on over to KiCad and see how KiCad takes care of their multiple sheets. Because in KiCad it's uh, somewhat different because it uses a hierarchical uh, schematic. Let's go ahead and make a new uh, schematic here like that. And what does hierarchical mean? Hierarchical means that it, you have schematics inside of other schematics, whereas in Eagle, this was flat. All the schematics existed on the same plane of existence. Uh, in hierarchical, uh, so you start off with a main sheet like this, and then over here, you grab the create hierarchical sheet. And you go ahead and drag out a, sorry, drag out a box like that. And this creates a new sheet. And so we're let's effectively do the same thing we did before. Let's call this the multiplexer. And we want to make the sheet name multiplexer, just like we did before. I probably misspelled something, but oh well. So now we have a sheet, which is our multiplexer, and we want to create another sheet over here. Ah, sorry, not used to this click, drag, click, like that, and we want to call this the connector. Like that. So once you have the two sheets here, you can uh, right click on a sheet and go enter sheet. Now that you've entered the sheet, uh, you're now down a level. So the, the first sheet was the, the, like the master and now you're down a level into the hierarchy. And so now in the hierarchical sheet, you can uh, place a hierarchical label like that. And we want to call this J1 connector 5, like we did in the other one. And the orientation for us doesn't particularly matter. Uh, some people like to go left to right with all of their inputs and outputs. Um, nowhere near uh, a stickler for that. But now we have this... Uh, a hierarchical uh, label. What this hierarchical label does now, if you connect to this, you connect to the sheet up above. And what we're going to do is right click and hit leave sheet. And now over here, we want to grab the place hierarchical pin imported from the corresponding hierarchical label. So if we go over here and click in this box, see this J1 connector 5 pin appeared and we want to put it over here like that it sees kind of stuck to the side as I move it around I'm not like that and now we can do the same thing over here if we right click in the middle of the schematic and hit enter sheet we can place a new hierarchical label here and let's call this uh, mux io io5 which is probably i5 because it was an input like that place it and then right click and leave the sheet and now we can put it up here oops wrong box this one, put it over here. And now we can use a uh, wire to connect the two. Just like that. See, now the two are connected. 
the way the hierarchical portion of it works is again while eagle was flat meaning that if you created a label or I'm sorry if you created a net name that net name would link across all of the sheets because uh, KiCad uses a hierarchical type system that if you create uh, if you enter the sheet and create net names here even uh, the uh, power ports for instance you know you were 15 volt power port here and created it inside the sheet this power port would not be connected to let's leave this sheet anything in the schematic or the schematic you would have to bring it up and down with these labels or what you have here is a global label be very very careful with global labels because global labels do actually flatten out the schematic multiple sheet system and a global label placed anywhere connects to any other global label with the same name and that's really about it uh, if we uh, that same project I was uh, I showed you in Eagle, if I was to do it in the uh, Eagle version, uh, pro I'm sorry, in the KiCad version, probably the way I would break the sheets down is the two processors would get their own sch uh, uh, schematic sheets, the Wi-Fi would get its own schematic sheet, and then uh, the connectors I would either place directly in you know the top sheet and then bring the power and everything over to the individual hierarchical sheets or I would make the connectors uh, their own sheet and then bring up all of the lines and that's about it as far as uh, multiple sheets go in uh, KiCad actually something else I could uh, mention quick is that uh, what I showed you is the bottom up process. You can also do a top down process, but it's a little more clunky because you can grab this tool here and uh, place a label, let's call it H5 because it's gonna be easier to work with here. And we can uh, place H5, but now to place it into the sheet you will place a hierarchical label like that, click, and we want to call this H5. You actually have to remember the name, whereas if you're going from the bottom up, you can import them. If you're working away from the uh, top down, you have to remember the names, and it just becomes annoying. And let's leave the sheet here. Uh, that covers about everything. Uh, Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you're always welcome to leave them down below. And, uh, of course, don't forget to give me a thumbs up.